11 of the 1985 Ontario Sire Stakes. Elmira Raceway's track attendance record of 2,800 produced a track paramutual record for the $35,000 three-year-old pacing Colts event. The large crowd turned out to see the probable season standout. Jumbo Maker really impressed. Jumbo Maker. He made it look easy for driver Steve Condren, racking up his eighth straight win in two minutes and two fifths. Other division winners, Highland Triumph in 202 and three, Fortune Sealster in 201 and four, and later in the mud, which covered the drivers as well, Daryl Sealster in 204, Bio Miles in an impressive 202 and one, and the first ever Ontario Sire Stakes dead heat for win between Dallas Willie and River Mate in 204 and two. At Kingston Park Raceway, muddy track conditions also prevailed, but still a record crowd turned out to see the three-year-old trotting fillies go for over $28,000. In the first division, a co-holder of the track record, Vicky's Caroline, could not hang on as Briscoe Maud charged up on the outside to win for driver Tom Strauss in 206 flat. In the second division, same storyline. The other co-holder of the track record, Hornby Glory, could not get it done late in the stretch as Grand Velvet, a daughter of Archie, got up to win for driver Paul Larrabee in 205 and 3. Frank Salib for week one of the Ontario Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Week two of the 1985 Ontario Sire Stakes. Track records all around the province. Saturday night, Western Fair Raceway in London. The two-year-old Philly Pacers for $40,000. Anna Jim, a recent purchase for owners Ellerington and Morrissey for the bargain basement price of $50,000, went out and became Canada's fastest two-year-old Philly. Her sensational 159-2 effort at Western Fair erased Fan Hanover's old track standard of 202 by almost three full seconds. Also Saturday night, the three-year-old pacing Phillies division went for $32,000 at Kawartha Downs in Peterborough. They produced a new track record as driver Mike Schaefer and Auntie Jean stopped the teletimer in 158 and 4. Sunday afternoon at Orangeville, the three-year-old trotting fillies for $31,000. Owner John Grant saw his pride and joy Hornby Glory set a 1985 record of 203 and 2 as she held off arch rival Vicky's Caroline. Other division winners Cole Valentine in 205 and 4 and Larry Disco in 206 and 1. And Sunday evening at Kingston Park. A record crowd saw a stunning upset as a late entry Air Raider conquered the previously undefeated Jambo Maker in a blistering 158 and 2. Frank Salib for week two of the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Week three of the 1985 Ontario Sire Stakes. Sunday night, Windsor Raceway. The two-year-old Colt Pacers for $99,000 in three divisions. Back to basics with Terry Kerr in the bike was the best in that first division in two minutes and three-fifths. The rest of the evening belonged to veteran Ontario horseman William Meggins with a rare Ontario Sire Stakes driving double. First with Senior Ralph in Division Two in 159 and three, then with Fella Dallas in 159 and two. I'm quite happy about both calls. Like they've, uh, they're they're ready. So maybe when they start going in 57, maybe they won't look so good. But uh, they're nice calls. I like them both. Earlier at Windsor, three-year-old pacing fillies for $103,000. Veteran Pat Crow and Jotario won the first division handily in 159 and two. Fireside Spree a surprise 37 to one winner. Auntie Jean made it two straight in a leisurely 159 and two. The fastest division winner, Village Secretary, 158 and two for trainer driver William McElroy. But she gets her own returns. Good for a big mare, so I think she'd be good in a half mile track, too. At Peterborough's Kawartha Downs, Nadir's Pride won a very impressive two year old Philly trot mile of 205 and 4 in a $30,000 event. Frank Salive with week three of the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Week four saw the two-year-old Colt Pacers go for $39,000 at London. Canadian champion trainer Bob McIntosh won with his money fund in 204 and 3. And Ontario veteran Dave Wall scored a popular win at his home track with some splurge, 203 and 4. Windsor Raceway. Two standouts emerged in the $84,000 event for three-year-old Philly Trotters. Hornby Glory with a Windsor track record in 201 and 1. And Briscoe Maud upset heavily favored Vicky's Carolyn for driver Tom Strauss. She's a handy filly and she seemed to have done everything right so far this year. 
At Elmira Raceway, in the two-year-old Philly Pace for $34,000, our Jude remained Canada's finest with a 203 victory, and Anna Jam routed the field by six lengths in 205 and one. At Windsor, the three-year-old Colt Pacers for $113,000. Driver Ron Henderson, a double winner on the sloppy track with bold talent in 158 and three, and with Wilco's Comet, parked out most of the way before winning in 158 and one. But he's all racehorse, like he raced right to the wire and hung on tough. Went a tough trip on the outside, too. And at Kingston, both winners were sired by Worthy Bowl, J Port Worthy Vic in 206 and 1, and KM Laser in 207 and 1. Frank Salive for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. In week five, the three-year-old Colt Pacers went in five divisions for $120,000 at Toronto's Greenwood Raceway. On a sloppy track, Windsorite Ron Henderson scored a driving double for the second straight week with Wilco's Comet in a stunning 156-3 and three, and with bold talent in 158-4. and four. Other winners, Jambo Maker in 158-2, and two, Keeson's Bow 159-1, and one, and Tronta in 159-2. and two. At Leamington, in the $31,000 event for three-year-old Philly Pacers, Armbro Daisy set a new track record, two minutes and two-fifths for driver Dave Wall, who also won at Clinton with C to C, continuing to dominate the two-year-old Colt Pace division. We were a little worried because he has been sick, and he did race really well. Jambo Mark continued to dominate in the three-year-old trotting Colts division. He scored again in 207-1 at Dresden for driver trainer Steve Cochran. He's got a strong stride and a good push off his back end, and, and he's a racehorse. He's been a racehorse right from when we qualified him. Also in week five, Belleville hosted the two-year-old Philly Trotters, and Linda Smiger got her second win of the campaign in 208-2. And, and in the two-year-old Philly Pacers visit to Sudbury, potential North American champion Our Jude routed the field in 201 flat. Frank Salive for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Ontario Sire Stakes Week 6. At the three-year-old Colt Trot at Leamington, a new track record. Driver Jim Whelan urged Volga Gigi to the wire first in a furious three-wide stretch drive in 204 flat for trainer Terry Newman of Gowanstown. We brought him along slow last year. He uh, was a lot hotter than he was this year. He's always showed a lot of speed. Same event, Jambo Mark held off a very game Glencoe alert to win in 206. He's a winner of $51,000 already for trainer driver Steve Cochran of Port Perry. With one quarter of the year's events complete, Wilco's Comet, the leading pacer. This three-year-old Colt, trained by Lou Clark of Windsor, has banked $23,000 and has the season's best mile. A stunning 156-3 and three at Greenwood on a sloppy track. Hornby Glory is the star of the three-year-old Philly Trotters, with a track and season's record of 201-1 and one, taken at Windsor. Anna Jem is the talk of the trade in the two-year-old Philly Pace division, having set a London and North American record with a sensational 159-2 effort. The leading drivers, Toronto's Steve Condren, banking just under $70,000, closely followed by Windsor's Ron Henderson and the great London veteran Dave Wall. Action this week set for Sudbury, Hanover, Peterborough, Orangeville, and Ottawa. Frank Salive for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Sire Stakes action in week seven was concentrated on the central and eastern sections of Ontario. Saturday night at Hanover, a record crowd produced a record paramutual handle for the three-year-old pacing Colts. Jambo Maker was parked out all the way and still prevailed in a sensational track record, 158-3 for driver Norm McKnight. I was kind of surprised when they said it was a track record, 58-3, the Colt could have went more. Still undefeated in the 1985 campaign is Wilco's Comet, who this year is gaining sweet revenge. We were here last year and he won the race, won it very easily, but he made a break going into the first turn, scattered the field, got back on stride, won it by three or four lengths and got disqualified. So we were happy to come back and win it this time. The other Hanover winner, C.W. Weir in 201. At Orangeville, three-year-old pacing fillies for $88,000. H.F. Alice, the fastest winner of all in 201 and four. The afternoon was marred by an accident. After fireside spree and possession went down, winner Ideal Ranger was disqualified and Gloria Skipper placed first. Other winners, Village Secretary in 202 and two, along with C.R. Candy and Kawartha Tinsel. At Sudbury, two-year-old Colt Trotter J. Port Worthy Vic remained undefeated, winning by three lengths in 208 and one. At the three-year-old Philly Trotter, 
prevented Peterborough's Kawartha Downs. Grand Velvet came from way back to conquer Vicky's Caroline and Hornby Glory in 202. The other division went to Briscoe Mod in 2 2 and 1. And at the two year old Philly Pace in Ottawa, Misty Silver upset Our Jude and Anna Jam in two minutes flat. Other division winners, Fun Beach and Better Go Now. Frank Salive for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Week 8 saw two Ontario Pacers make Canadian history. Hanover's two-year-old Colt Trot, fastest division to KM Laser in 207-1 and one for London's Laurie Baco. He was a little too eager going out of there, but he eventually settled down and things worked out the way I hoped they would. Also at Hanover, Country Whispers prevailed in 2-10-3, and, and J-Port Worthy Vic remained undefeated with a 208 and 4 score for driver Ray McLean. Eventually down the road, they might catch him, you know, but now he's got so much early speed, they can't keep up to him, you know. At Dresden, Nadir's pride dominated in the two-year-old Philly Trot, winning by 11 lengths and 2-5-3 and three for Rob Walker. Belleville, two-year-old Cold Pace, fastest mile to senior Ralph and 2-3-3 three and three for Bill Meggins. At Sudbury, two new stars emerged in the three-year-old Colt Trotter, Dreamer Boy and Reginald, both in 2 2 and 3 Fastest division of Dresden's three-year-old Philly Pace went to above the crowd in two minutes and one-fifth. Other winners, Dee Dee Splurge in two minutes and two, For Your Eyes Only in two minutes and three, and C.R. Candy in 2 2 and three. Kingston's Philly Pace for two-year-old Misty Silver and driver Bud Fritz with a new track record of two minutes flat. And two Canadian records in Ontario this week. Three-year-old Philly H.F. Alice scorched Flamborough in 157-2, and two, a national half-mile track record. And three-year-old Colt Wilco's Comet in the first Governor General's Cup for Windsor driver Ron Henderson, 156 track record at Ottawa's Rideau Carlton. Frank Salib for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Yet another track record in week nine and the long-awaited showdown for the three-year-old Colt Pacers. But first at Godridge, the two-year-old Colt Trotters for $28,000. J-Port Worthy Vic stayed undefeated with a 208 win for veteran London driver Ray McLean. The other winner, also a son of Worthy Bull, was Datsun for Wheatley's Doug McIntosh. Elmira hosted the three-year-old Philly Trotters. Docile Ravona took a 205 mark for Paul Walker. Ketchup M set a track record at 204 and two for trainer driver Bill Wellwood. And Elmira's Tom Strauss scored a popular home track win with Mod. In the two-year-old Colt Pace at Peterborough's Kawartha Downs, veteran catch driver Terry Kerr guided known fact to his first win, 201 and 1. He got the front and he just kind of half sat on me, just kept going up, go ahead, but they went 2-1 and 1 and that's a big mile out here tonight. Also at Peterborough, Dave Wall topped $90,000 in stakes earnings this year. He won with C2C in two minutes flat, was right back to the winner's circle with Dover Superman. Larry Walker and Skipping Pencer won the fourth division in two minutes and four fifths. And in the July 22nd, three-year-old Colt Pace featured showdown at Toronto's Greenwood Raceway. Jambo Maker at the rail with a closing quarter of 27-2 and two, held off the previously undefeated Wilco's Comet by a nose in 156-1. and one. And H.F. Alice continued her domination of the three-year-old Philly Pacers, a July 22nd Greenwood win in 159-3. and three. Frank Salive for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. The biggest week of the year, a million in purses at Toronto's Greenwood Raceway. A rare dead heat in the two-year-old Colt Pace. C to C on the outside, known fact on the inside. Drivers Dave Wall and Ron Henderson forced to share the winner's circle. Longshot HR Skipper also won in the two-year-old Colt Pace. Money Fun took the fastest division for Windsor trainer Bob McIntosh. And Steve Condren reigned hockey to victory for owner Larry Staley. Well, I had to stick handle my way down the stretch. Two-year-old Philly Pace. Fun Beach won the fastest division two minutes flat. Armbro Eleanor got up late to win for one of Ontario's nicest owners, Bruce Lloyd of Toronto. I feel just super. Two-year-old Philly Trot. Nadir's pride set a track in Ontario record 2-2-3 for Robert Walker. I seen her at the three quarters enough and she was still trotting strong, so I thought I'd go for the record. It's not every day you get a chance. Two-year-old Colt Trot, fastest division to Candy Dock. All division winners this night, sired by Worthy Bull for the Sealster Farms of Lucan. Three-year-old Philly Trot, Briscoe's Girl won the fastest division, 2-1-4. and four. In the three-year-old Colt Trot, Bill Wellwood took Dreamer Boy to his fifth win of the year in two minutes and three. And she's got ability if we can keep her intact. Intact she was, as H.F. Alice continued to dominate the three-year-old Philly Pacers easily in 159-3. and three. Frank Salive for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report.
almost $400,000 on the line in a busy week 11. At Orangeville, $90,000 for the two-year-old pacing Colts. Bill Megan's guided senior Ralph in the fastest division, 2-1-1, one one, to regain his old form. He raced uh, not too good up at Peterborough, and he had a bit of a cold, and then he raced a little better up in Toronto, and he raced, looks like he's probably over it now, he raced much better. Home track favorite Kawartha White Owl at the rail lost in the closing strides to Money Fund, teamed by Trevor Ritchie. This cold here, he never stops, as you can see, and uh, Charlie's horse is starting to get a little tired, so I thought I might be able to get him. Other division winners, Ratso, Back to Basics, and Embrun Panther. Peterborough's Kawartha Downs, a track attendance record for the two-year-old Philly Pace. Armbro Eva, trained by Bob McIntosh, the fastest division winner, 201, for London owner Dan Smith. She's a nice filly, just tries every start that she uh, is involved. She's always given honest effort since we've started with her. Other Peterborough winners, Spring Mara, two minutes and three for the Forbes people of Walkerton, and Better Go Now for the Cantario Farms of Campbellville. At Sudbury, Ketchup M and veteran Bill Wellwood won in 201 and four, a national record for three-year-old trotting fillies on a half-miler. Wellwood also steered Hornby Glory to a 2-2-1 two -two and one victory. Woodstock hosted the two-year-old trotting fillies. Standout Nadir's pride conquered Linda Smidger. Well, I think she had a little left. <laughs> Mardon's Marathon, the other Woodstock winner for owner Sherman Moore of Lindsay. At Elmira, $80,000 for the two-year-old Colt Trot. Lair Hanover notched his first win, 2-6-1. and one. Please Be Worthy also broke his maiden in 2-6-3. and three. Jay Port Worthy Vic remained undefeated, a leisurely five-length win in 2-6-3. and three. At Ottawa, veteran Dave Wall took both divisions of the three-year-old Colt Pace. Twin B Playboy tied the track record of 156. Air Raider prevailed in 156-2. Frank Salive for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Emerging superstars prevailed in week 12 of the Ontario Sire Stakes. Flamborough Downs $84,000 two-year-old Philly Trot. Nadir's Pride stole the spotlight. A track, lifetime, and North American record victory in 2-2-4. and four. And DL Zoe took a decision for co-owner Charlie Armstrong. Yeah. Oh, I think she's a great filly. She's small, but she's good. Uh, she's good. Also at Flamborough, multiple winner Linda Smidger did it again for owner-driver Leonard Smith. Sudbury's three-year-old Colt Pace, Twin B Playboy bested the field in a sharp 159-4. At Woodstock, Charlie Lawson guided Reginald to a 2-1-4 win. That's a national record for a three-year-old Colt Trotter on a half-miler. Garth Gordon won the other division with Lumac Stream in 204. The three-year-old Philly Pacers met at Clinton. Major's Choice, who had been brought along slowly, began to pay dividends for Ontario veteran Bill Wellwood. I decided to let her race herself into shape, and as she improved, she would be better in the fall of the year. Other Clinton winners, HF Alice in 2-2, and driver Ray McLean completed the double with Fireside Spree in 2-2-2. and Dresden's two-year-old Colt Pace, Senior Ralph, wire to wire in 2-3-1. and Dream and Romaine, an upset winner in 2-4-1. and Later on a sloppy track, Dave Wall's C to C prevailed in 2-4-4. and and the two-year-old Philly Pacers at Flamborough. Our Jude again won in under two minutes with Misty Silver and Armbro Eleanor, the other division winners. Frank Salive for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Most of Week 13's activity was at Flamborough Downs, just outside Hamilton. On Confederation Cup Day, the outstanding two-year-old gelding senior Ralph won in a world record 158-2 for veteran Bill Meggins. Uh, it surprises me. I had no idea he'd uh, we'd beat a world record. I, uh, I was just trying to uh, win the race. Other winners, only Omaha for Hamilton owner Stephen Finnecane in 159-4. Ratso for Doug and Barbara Brocky of Mississauga, 2 minutes and 2. Black Hobo with his first lifetime win, 2 minutes and 2 for owners Kurt Dugan and Chris Kroll, who spent a lot of money at last year's select sale, but not on this gold. Uh, we spent about 15 or 16,000 at the sale, but 3,500 for this one. Also at Flamborough, the two-year-old trotting Colts. Jay Port Worthy Vic made it eight straight, taking a lifetime record, two, three, and one. Other winners, KM Laser for Roy Knight of St. Thomas, two, four, and one. Armbro edited in two, six flat for the Dean of Harness Racing in Brentford, Max Webster. But he's always been a gutsy Colt, and uh, he sure displayed it tonight. And the three-year-old trotting Colts at Flamborough saw Steve Condren with a driving double. Fastest mile to Village Ghost, he collared a tiring Jambo Mark in 2-1 flat. Condren right back with Megatrotter in 2-1 and 3. Other division, a dreamer boy, also in 2-1 and 3. The three-year-old Philly Pacers north to Sudbury. Above the crowd with a track record. 159 flat for driver Terry Kerr. She's always showing she's had great speed, so 
Uh, a horse like this has to have the trip. Uh, she's been having a lot of bad luck, but tonight it worked in her favor. Other division winners, Dr. Beth in 2-1-1, one, one, also in Rain de Coeur, and Spring Philly in 2-1-4 for driver Ken Hardy, and Kingston's first day event for $75,000, the three-year-old Philly Trot, Cranberry Hill in 2-4-2, two, and, two, and Briscoe Maud routed her competitors by five for Elmira's Tom Strauss. Frank Salib for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Another all-time Ontario record in week 14. First at Orangeville, the two-year-old Colt Trot. Jayport Worthy Vic continued his incredible win streak. Nine in a row for veteran London driver Ray McLean in 2-6-1. and one. Another Londoner, Laurie Bako, guided KM Laser to a 2-6-4 and four triumph. At Clinton, Lou Max Dream won a blistering three-year-old Colt Trot mile for Garth Gordon in 202. Trainer driver Percy Robillard was a winner with Glencoe Alert in 24 and 2. The week's major highlight: the three-year-old Colt Pace at Flamborough Downs. Twin B Playboy routed the field in his division with an Ontario record 156 and 2 for co-owner Frank Milne of St. Catharines. This horse doesn't have a quick brush, but once you get him rolling and keep him rolling, then it's pretty hard to get in front of him. In the second division, a small equipment change was made on the eventual winner, Aerator. He gets a little bit off in the turns. And we've been trying to go without a head pull on him, eh? And uh, so tonight I said, Doug, we'll just leave it off and see what he does. That equipment change paid big dividends as Aerator was victorious in 157 and 3. Also at Flamborough, trainer driver Ted Jacobs guided Daryl Sealster to a 158 and 2 victory. There's a pretty good wind in the stretch and uh... I thought he'd get. I thought he'd maybe get, get nipped. I thought something was coming, but nothing was coming. The headwind was was too strong for anybody else to close. So, upcoming in week 15, action from Hanover, Orangeville, Greenwood, and Kawartha Downs. Frank Salib for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Week 15 of the Ontario Sire Stakes, a track record for Toronto's Greenwood Raceway. But first, Hanover's two-year-old Philly Pace. Trainer Bob McIntosh and pilot Trevor Ritchie won again with Armbro Eva. Fine effort of two minutes and four. Home track favorite Bud Fritz not to be outdone. His Philly all-force also romped in two minutes and four. Orangeville hosted the two-year-old Philly Trotters. Cambridge Lark in her division, 2-11 and 3 for driver Jack Ray. Darkie Briscoe a winner, 2-11 and 1 for Ontario veteran Carmen High. And the seemingly invincible Nadir's pride made its seven straight wins this time 2-7-2 and two for Teamster Robert Walker. The two-year-old Colt Trotters at Peterborough's Kawartha Downs. Laser Hanover, a 2-7-2 and two winner. Tyrant Lee, the fastest division winner, 2-4-1 and one for trainer driver Bud Fritz. And Jay Port Worthy Vic reeled off a sensational 10th straight triumph, 2-4-4 and four for London veteran Ray McLean. And Greenwood Raceway hosted the three-year-old Philly Trotters. Briscoe's girl made it five wins and 12 starts, 2-2 two -two score for trainer driver Stuart Cochran. She's the type of filly that if somebody comes to us, she'll dig right in. She, she's never done, never seems to be done. In the other division, a new Greenwood track record for three-year-old filly trotters. Cranberry Hill upset standouts Briscoe Maud and Hornby Glory for trainer driver Dr. John Hayes. Once a trotter starts to get confidence, then it just continues to go and go, and I hope we haven't seen the end. I knew when we got to the half in a minute and four-fifths that she'd break the track record, and uh, so I just kept her going a little bit through the stretch. Upcoming in week 16, events at Godrich, Clinton, and Belleville. Frank Salive for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. There was just one event in week 16 of the Ontario Sire Stakes program as the three-year-old Philly Pacers made the trek to Godrich Raceway. In the first of three divisions, Spring Philly, trained by Dresden's Dennis Duford, was catch-driven to victory by London's Fred Sadler. It was a track record of 201 and 3, which would fall later the same night. In the second division, Terry Kerr picked up the first of two driving victories with Dr. Beth, a 204 and 3 score accomplished from the outside post position 7. It's a half mile track, you never know what can happen, and every time I moved in the race, someone was making a break in front of me. It was a pretty wild race, really, but she got there. That was the main thing. Kerr was right back to complete the driving double with Above the Crowd, a new track record of 201 and 2, and her second track record this year for Jubilant owner Theodore Corner of St. Thomas. I'm happy. I'm happy. And it's two in a row track records in Sire Stakes. So. She had a little lead, and I just hoped she could hang on to it. But uh, it's just always nice to win one, and there's only two more stakes left in the 
you never know if you get another horse like her again. I think after 10 years just having cheap claimers and that, uh, I think uh, it's nice to have what I said. Upcoming in week 17, the province's finest will be put to the test in the start of the Ontario-Quebec Sire Stakes Series. Frank Salib for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. For the 17th straight week, a record-setting performance in the Ontario Sire Stakes program. The scene was Orangeville Raceway in the $75,000 three-year-old Colt Trot. Dreamer Boy set the new track standard at 2-2-3 for veteran William Wellwood. That mark was later equaled as Village Ghost held off Jambo Mark in 2-2-3. Two, two Lumax Dream was also an Orangeville winner. A 2-0-3 decision in rain to Garth Gordon. In the start of the Ontario-Quebec Sire Stakes Challenge, featuring the finest from both provinces, the three-year-old Colt Pacers went for $50,000 at Mohawk, and the top four finishers were from Ontario. The winner, Twin B Playboy, in a fine 157-1. Owners Gary LaRiviere and Frank Milne think he's a candidate for Canadian three-year-old of the year honours. He looks good right now. I think that he... We think he is, <laughs> but we don't get a vote. <laughs> and in the Ontario Quebec two-year-old Colt Pace, Ontario's Money Fund was a 203 winner for driver Trevor Ritchie. Frank Salib for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. <laughs> Just over a month to go in this year's program, and in the Ontario leg of the continuing Ontario Quebec Sire Stakes Challenge, Armbro Eve atop the two year old Philly Pacers at Flamborough Downs in 2 1 and 2 for driver Trevor Ritchie at Sudbury's two year old Philly Trot. A new track record at 2 05 and 2 by Cassé as the Philly Agathy went off stride just before the wire. Back to Flamborough for the three year old Philly Trot. A Canadian half mile track record of two minutes and four for Cranberry Hill and Dr. John Hayes. I thought when we got the lead from the gate, she'd never done that in her life before, that it was going to be uh, uh, more straightforward than other races, yeah. At Ottawa's Rideau-Carlton Raceway, the two-year-old Colt Pacers. Trevor Ritchie completes the driving double with Money Fund, a fine 159-3. Also at Rideau-Carlton, three-year-old Colt Trotter Lumax Dream set an all-time Ontario Sire Stakes record of 159-2. And, and at Peterborough, Twinbee Playboy crushed the three-year-old Colt Pacers again in his scorching 157-1 for stakes veteran Dave Wall. Well, he can't get off the gate real quick, but uh, he can wear them down. He'll sit on the outside of him, and tonight he got onto the front, which it doesn't happen very often with him. Usually he sits first over, and but he, he holds on pretty tough, that's for sure. Frank Salib for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Leading off week 19, Ottawa's Rideau Carlton Raceway. Nadir's pride remained invincible in the two year old Philly Trot, an easy 2 8 and 4 victory at Hanover's three year old Philly Trot. A track record. Stakes veteran Carmen High teamed Cranberry Hill to the wire first in 2 2 and 2. At Kingston's three year old Philly Pace, season standout HF Alice set a new track record 158 and 2 with Ray McLean in the sulky. And the province's best three year old Colt Pacers squared off in three divisions at Dresden. Dave Wall scored the first half of a driving double as Jambo Maker returned to form to win in two minutes flat for owner David Harrington. I think today he's uh, back where I want to see him, yeah. As long as he finished first, that's where you like to see him. An upset in the second division. Heavy favorite Keeson's bow was nipped in the closing strides by Chocolate Topping with no one more surprised than driver John Courage. <laughs> I, thought he, I, I thought he could be second if he got lucky, you know. I never thought he could beat the Keeson's bow horse or anything. In the final division, Dave Wall completed the double with Twin B Playboy. Trainer Dennis Duke says he'll send this Colt against all comers. So he's got two left, and I think he's the best right now. And I don't think, I'm not scared of anybody now. I don't think they can beat him. Frank Salib for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. The Ontario Sire Stakes program has moved into its final month for 1985. At Woodstock's two-year-old Colt Pace for over $32,000, a latecomer to the circuit, Black Hobo, was a winner in 2-3-3 three, three for driver Mark Hendry. At London's Western Fair Raceway, Twin B Playboy, a son of Armbro Omaha, continued to dominate the three-year-old Colt Pacers. In reign to veteran Dave Wall, the Playboy, as he's been affectionately nicknamed, was an easy winner in 2-2-2. Two, two, two. At Elmira's event for the two-year-old Philly Pacers, the combination of Armbro E 
Eva. Trainer Bob McIntosh and driver Trevor Ritchie was again unbeatable. Eva romped home in 2-2-3 and three at Elmira. And at Orangeville, under threatening skies, the two-year-old Colt Pacers went to the gate for over $31,000. Tyrant Lee picked up his second straight stakes victory, a 2-6 effort for Ontario veteran Bud Fritz. Frank Salib for week 20 of the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. London's Western Fair Raceway held most of the Ontario Sire Stakes spotlight in week 21. In the three-year-old Philly trot at London, Cranberry Hill and trainer driver Dr. John Hayes reeled off their fourth straight win in eighth and 15 starts this year, holding off Briscoe Mod easily for a 203 and 4 triumph. In the three-year-old Philly pace at London for over $86,000, Dee Dee Splurge, a daughter of Armbrose Splurge, won easily going away by three lengths on an off-track in 204 and 2 with regular pilot Reg Gassian in the sulky. And at Mohawk Raceways, two-year-old Philly pace, they went to the starting gate for just under $100,000. Armbro Eva won her third straight and seventh of the year for trainer Bob McIntosh and driver Trevor Ritchie. Eva, a daughter of Armbro Omaha, took a new lifetime mark of one 59 and 3, including her last half individually of 59 and 2. Frank Salive for week 21 of the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Just two weeks now remain in the OSS campaign. The three-year-old Colt Pacers were at Mohawk for in excess of $105,000. Jambo Maker chalked up his 14th win, a 159-2 effort. Twin B Playboy, looking like the season's champion, made it five straight wins, a 159-2 score for confident trainer Dennis Duke. When you're the best, I think you have to get to the front and stay out of trouble, and they have to beat you when you're on the top. A newcomer, Young Spirit, a son of Jade Prince, took the fastest Mohawk division in 159 flat, a pleasant surprise for co-owner William Teeter of Orangeville. I thought that we'd probably be third, to tell you the truth. Also at Mohawk, the two-year-old Colt Trotters went for over $91,000. KM Laser took a new lifetime record of 204-1 for London driver Laurie Bako. And Grand Nader, a two-year-old son of Nader Lobel, edged Odd Bowl in a very tight photo in the second division in 2-3-3, three, three, bettering his lifetime mark by four seconds for trainer Stan Henderson. We were very lucky that the two horses, that the good horses, made breaks. Frank Salib for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Just one week remains in the 1985 Ontario Sire Stakes campaign. Orangeville hosted the two-year-old Philly Pacers, and strong winds were a major factor. It is fast today, but it's, this wind is going to slow you down a little. Veteran stakes driver Bud Fritz coped best with those windy conditions. He won the first division with season standout Misty Silver in 203 and 1. Fritz was right back to complete the Sire Stakes driving double in the second division as he guided all force to the wire first in 204 and 1 for owner Eugene Forbes. Been pretty lucky today. <laughs> also this week, four of the eight season's champions have been named. The three-year-old Philly Pacer is village secretary, earnings of over $57,000. The two-year-old Colt Pacer of 1985 in the province is money fund with earnings in excess of $75,000. Cranberry Hill topped the three-year-old Philly Trotters with earnings of over $118,000. And Twin B Playboy was the best in the three-year-old Colt Pace division as he earned $115,000. Frank Salib for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report. Week 24 concludes the 1985 Ontario Sire Stakes program. At Windsor, the two-year-old Philly Trotters completed their freshman season. Nader's pride became the fastest Ontario and Canadian-bred two-year-old Philly Trotter in history, a sensational effort of two minutes and three-fifths. Trainer driver Robert Walker always made sure he raced this Philly from the front of the field. She's a little uh, hard to manage at times. I raise her off the front, but then nobody gets in your road then either. 
At Mohawk, the three-year-old Colt Trotters made their final appearance. Lumax Dream for regular pilot Garth Gordon was much the best in 201 and 3. Also at Mohawk, trainer Bob McIntosh scored his 20th Sire Stakes win of the year. It was with two-year-old Philly pacer Armbro Eva, two minutes and one-fifth for regular driver Trevor Ritchie. And the last four seasons champions have been decided. Two-year-old Philly Trot honors to Nader's Pride, earnings of $106,000. KM Laser won the two-year-old Colt Trot title for London's Lori Bako, topping $100. $116,000. Armbro Eva dominated the two-year-old Philly Pacers, earnings of $100,000. And Dreamer Boy, the highest money earner in the three-year-old Colt Trot division at $108,000. For 1985, that concludes the province's $8 million program for homebred trotters and pacers. Frank Salive for the Ontario Sire Stakes Report.